A majority of Republican nominees deny or question the 2020 election results. Heading into the midterm elections, which will be held Tuesday across the United States, this has many concerned that some candidates may not concede even if they lose their elections. John Oliver focused on election subversion during his Sunday evening show, opening with a clip of Georgia's Mike Collins, who shot a trash can with a sign on it saying voting machine. Take a look. Hey, Mike Collins here, you pro-Trump America first trucker, running for Congress here in Georgia 10. Well, I understand oh, Joe Biden was in town yesterday to talk about our elections. It seems that he and Kamala Harris called anyone who disagreed with the federal hijacking of this election a racist. Well, Joe, I got some news for you. Let me tell you what Georgians really believe. You see, Georgians are sick and tired of weak need, spineless politicians who won't fight for Trump, get to the bottom of 2020, and fix our elections. Well, if they won't do it, Mike Collins will. Send me to Washington. Man is completely ridiculous, and given the district where he's running, he's almost certainly going to win on Tuesday. But it is worth dwelling on the promise that he and those other candidates are making, that they are going to fix our elections. Because that speaks to a real problem here, which is that a troubling number of election deniers are running for jobs that can play key roles in administering elections in their states. In fact, over half the country has an election denier running to oversee their elections, and many of them are expected to win. Republican candidate Mike Collins is running to represent the U.S. House in Georgia's 10th congressional district against Democratic candidate Tabitha Johnson Green. John Oliver is correct in his assumption that Collins will most certainly win his election, despite the fact that he couldn't shoot the trash can the first time he filmed his campaign ad. The last time a Democrat held the seat was in 1994. So there's a very real chance that the 2022 election will end with election deniers in power across the country. According to a new article from Rochester University, political science professor James Johnson agrees with the concern over election subversion. He stated, We currently have some 290 election deniers across the country running for office in the midterm elections. Some of them are running for positions of Secretary of State in various states. Of course, the secretaries of state are the ones who administer elections. Another political science and history professor, Gerald Gamm, was also interviewed in the Rochester article. When asked if he is worried about the survival of our democracy, he replied, Of course I'm worried. I went into the study of American politics thinking I was studying the world's oldest and most stable democratic political system. Now I'm deeply worried about the sustainability of the democratic experiment in America. Oliver closed his Sunday evening show with the help of actor Nick Offerman, who did his own video like Mike Collins of Georgia in a red short sleeve shirt toting a massive gun. He urged voters to take the election seriously Tuesday and to vote. For information on how, when, and where to vote in your local area, you can visit usa.gov slash how to vote. Thank you for watching Raw Story TV. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com, stay informed, and tap below to take action by liking, subscribing, and joining all those who like their news raw.